Allah says in the Quran, "Wala taqrabu zina." Don't go anywhere near zina. We as Muslims, we've been given guidelines regarding all aspects of our life, what we believe, how we pray, how we behave. And one of the things we also have to be very careful how we deal with are our festivals. And because festivals are a very important part of people's lives and society. They're, they're indication of people's aspirations, their aims and their history. Now we have we celebrate Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. The Prophet sallallahu said, لِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ عيد وَهَذَا عيدنا. All people, uh, for all nations, so there is a, uh, a point of rejoicing and celebration. For us, the main, the main event to rejoice is at the end of Ramadan, uh, the Eid al-Fitr. Uh, because Ramadan, it leads us to improving our taqwa, nearness to Allah. And so we thank Allah by praying. Uh, now with many people and many societies and many cultures coming together and the world becoming a global village uh, with Valentine coming up in a few days, uh, many Muslims unfortunately will be, uh, will be celebrating Valentine as well, giving, giving Valentine cards and presents and flowers uh, to people. We have to be very careful how we celebrate our, our events and our festivals. Uh, Allah has given us a deen of modesty and haya. If a person has any feelings towards anyone, and then the best thing to do is to get married to them. Uh, and then to show your feelings by getting married. Anything other than marriage is strictly haram. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ zina. Don't go anywhere near zina. Allah doesn't just say don't do zina. Uh, don't go anywhere near zina and any relationship, texting, phoning, emailing, having a girlfriend, boyfriend, astaghfirullah, these are all acts and behavior which is strictly forbidden in Islam. And we should fear Allah and we should, we should take the lawful and, and the proper route and, uh, of getting married and having a lawful relationship. A Valentine, subhanallah, if people knew its origins and its implications, uh, then no Muslim with a, with a right frame of mind and a state of heart and iman uh, would have anything to do with Valentine. And just as there are different days for different saints for celebration, uh, Saint Valentine was also celebrated in the middle of February, or rather the 14th of February. So this is an old Christian tradition which goes back even to the days of before Christianity to ancient Rome and when people get in, involved in the celebration of such an event they don't know what they are doing uh, they don't know what they are acknowledging they don't know what they are admiring and envying and looking up to uh, old pagan uh, Christian traditions Allahu Akbar and as Muslims uh, we are we have been strictly forbidden and to emulate other nations, even, even Allahu Akbar, in our own ibadat in such a way, if our ibadat coincide even in timings of their prayers, the Prophet ﷺ strictly forbade that. This is why uh, the Prophet has forbidden Muslims from even offering their salat, prayer to Allah at three times. When the sun is rising, at midday and at sunset. Uh, because this is the time that sun worshippers worship the sun because they regard sun as their God. So as Muslims, we are not even allowed to pray to Allah at those times, let alone be a part of their, uh, of their uh, such celebration whereby they've honored their, uh, their religious personalities in the past or been a symbol of pagan traditions. If someone loves their wife and he wants to show her appreciation, Allahu Akbar, then let him buy her flowers on another occasion. Uh, let, him buy, let him buy her a present on another occasion. But for a Muslim to go home and even just smile at his wife, and the Prophet wasallam said, when a man smiles at his wife and she smiles back at him, Allah smiles at both of them. Allahu Akbar. Uh, there's nothing better that a man can treasure uh, uh, then a wife, when he looks at her, she pleases him. When he commands her to do something, she obeys. And if he was to go away, she would not uh, betray his trust in terms of her honor and his wealth. 
then such a woman is the best thing uh, that a person can have, the best companion, the best friend uh, that a person can have such a wife. And for a woman, uh, the best uh, companion in her life that she can have is a good husband who will take care of her and who will look after her and who will help her to become a good Muslim. Ya fusakum wa ahlikum nara. Or those who believe, save yourselves and your family members from fire of Jahannam. And uh, don't make each other the fire and uh, the fire of Jahannam. Don't, don't make each other worthy of going into Jahannam and being condemned to it. But rather help one another, protect one another, assist one another in matters of piety. Yes, tahadu tahabu, give presents, but pr- presents in a proper manner. So feeding one another, giving presents to one another, being good to one another, making salam to one another, forgiving one another. And these are all part of our Islamic identity, our Islamic behavior, our Islamic character. Uh, 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 and celebrating Valentine, Allah Akbar. Uh, it doesn't make a person any better Muslim or any better husband or any any better wife. Uh, the best the best husband, as the Prophet said, Khairukum Khairukum li ahlihi and the best amongst you, and like the Prophet said, is he or she who learns and teaches Quran, but practically uh, he is, is the person who's good with his family members. Uh, from the men are those, the best people who are good with their family members, and from the women who are obedient to their husbands.